If you want to shine like a sun, first burn like a sun. Small aim is a crime. There are a number of women who have brought about immense change in society. Teaching is a very noble profession that shapes the character, caliber, and future of an individual. If the people remember me as a good teacher, that will be the biggest honor for me. Great dreams of great dreamers are always transcended. Today, India is a nuclear weapon state. The bird is powered by its own life and by its motivation. My 2020 vision for India is to transform it into a developed nation. That cannot be abstract, it is a lifeline. My view is that at a younger age your optimism is more and you have more imagination etc. You have less bias. Nations consist of people, and with their effort, a nation can accomplish all it could ever want. To succeed in your mission, you must have single-minded devotion to your goal. Look at the sky. We are not alone. The whole universe is friendly to us and conspires only to give the best to those who dream and work. For success of any mission, it is necessary to have creative leadership. Creative leadership is vital for government, non-governmental organizations as well as for industries. We should not give up and we should not allow the problem to defeat us. One of the very important characteristics of a student is to question. Let the students ask questions. I was a disadvantaged child from a non-educated family, yet I had the advantage of being in the company of great teachers. Do we not realize that self-respect comes with self-reliance? If we are not free, no one will respect us. God is everywhere. Let us sacrifice our today so that our children can have a better tomorrow. I love the sea. To become unique, the challenge is to fight the hardest battle which anyone can imagine until you reach your destination. Life is a difficult game. You can win it only by retaining your birthright to be a person. For me, there is no such thing as a negative experience. Never stop fighting until you arrive at your destined place, that is, the unique you. Have a name in life, continuously acquire knowledge, work hard, and have perseverance to realize the great life. Small aim is a crime, have great aim. Where there is righteousness in the heart, there is harmony in the house. When there is harmony in the house, there is order in the nation. When there is order in the nation, there is peace in the world. The wealth of information now available at the click of a finger amazes me. The Bay of Bengal is hit frequently by cyclones. The months of November and May, in particular, are dangerous in this regard. Man needs his difficulties because they are necessary to enjoy success. The president's post should not be politicized. Once a president is elected, he is above politics. Tell me, why is the media here so negative? Why are we in India so embarrassed to recognize our own strengths, our achievements? We are such a great nation. We have so many amazing success stories but we refuse to acknowledge them. Why? It's when children are 15, 16 or 17 that they decide whether they want to be a doctor, an engineer, a politician or go to the Mars or Moon. That is the time they start having a dream, and that's the time you can work on them. You can help them shape their dreams. There has to be a global mission of human progress. I'm not an expert on the arms race. When you look at the light bulb above you, you remember Thomas Alva Edison. When the telephone bell rings, you remember Alexander Graham Bell. 
Marie Curie was the first woman to win the Nobel Prize. When you see the blue sky, you think of Sir C. V. Raman. When grand plans for scientific and defense technologies are made, do the people in power think about the sacrifices the people in the laboratories and fields have to make? We must think and act like a nation of a billion people and not like that of a million people. Dream, dream, dream. My hair grows and grows, you cannot stop it, that fellow grows, it grows wild. Science is a beautiful gift to humanity, we should not distort it. Wherever I go, as long as I get a hot vegetable dish, I am okay. If I am in Gujarat, I have Gujarati food. If it's Shillong, it's Northeastern. We have not invaded anyone. We have not conquered anyone. We have not grabbed their land, their culture, their history and tried to enforce our way of life on them. Measuring nuclear yield depends on multiple parameters the location and number of instruments, the geology of the area, the location of the seismic station in relation to the test site. Developing nations want to become developed nations. Every nation has to follow a certain policy, commercial, trade, various other types of policies. Today, India consumes about 682 watts per capita, far lesser than developed nations. As India develops, it will definitely require a lot more energy. There is not enough funding for basic sciences in India. We have to invest in a big way, and I am pushing that idea. India's trade deficit is because of excessive import over exports. For 2,500 years, India has never invaded anybody. For me, there are two types of people, the young and the experienced. War is never a lasting solution for any problem. As a child of God, I am greater than anything that can happen to me. No religion has mandated killing others as a requirement for its sustenance or promotion. Regarding marriage, it, somehow, it didn't happen. One fellow in such a big family not getting married is not an issue. What is politics? Political system is equal to development politics plus political politics. You see, God helps only people who work hard. That principle is very clear. India should walk on her own shadow. We must have our own development model. Excellence is a continuous process and not an accident. A teacher should have a creative mind. My message, especially to young people is to have courage to think differently, courage to invent, to travel the unexplored path, courage to discover the impossible and to conquer the problems and succeed. These are great qualities that they must work towards. This is my message to the young people. It means, people who are in high and responsible positions, if they go against righteousness, righteousness itself will get transformed into a destroyer. Science has revealed that the human body is made up of millions and millions of atoms. For example, I am made up of 5.8 by 1027 atoms. I firmly believe that unless one has tasted the bitter pill of failure, one cannot aspire enough for success. While children are struggling to be unique, the world around them is trying all means to make them look like everybody else. Economy forced me to become a vegetarian, but I finally starting liking it. Ramaswaram has, since antiquity, been an important pilgrimage destination. Why are we, as a nation so obsessed with foreign things? Is it a legacy of our colonial years? 
We want foreign television sets. We want foreign shirts. We want foreign technology. Why this obsession with everything imported? Medical costs are of concern, both in developing and developed countries. The government, whether state or central, is elected. That means we have a responsibility to elect the right kind of leaders. I was in high school when Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru unfurled India's flag in New Delhi. The youth need to be enabled to become job generators from job seekers. I have met 18 million youth, and each wants to be unique. Great teachers emanate out of knowledge, passion and compassion. God, our Creator, has stored within our minds and personalities, great potential strength and ability. Prayer helps us tap and develop these powers. Unless India stands up to the world, no one will respect us. In this world, fear has no place. Only strength respects strength. Writing is my love. If you love something, you find a lot of time. I write for two hours a day, usually starting at midnight, at times. I started 11. I was willing to accept what I couldn't change. No sanction can stand against ignited minds. You have to dream before your dreams can come true. Let me define a leader. He must have vision and passion and not be afraid of any problem. Instead, he should know how to defeat it. Most importantly, he must work with integrity. We must get rid of fossil fuels by developing injection systems for automobiles, which can run on biofuel. If four things are followed, having a great aim, acquiring knowledge, hard work, and perseverance, then anything can be achieved. Poetry comes from the highest happiness or the deepest sorrow. All wars signify the failure of conflict resolution mechanisms, and they need post-war rebuilding of faith, trust and confidence. Science is global. Einstein's equation, E equals MC2, has to reach everywhere. Science is a beautiful gift to humanity, we should not distort it. Science does not differentiate between multiple races. All the scientists and technologists should work in appropriate region, specifically the rural technologies, to transform Indian rural sector. One of the more difficult tasks for me as president was to decide on the issue of confirming capital punishment awarded by courts. To my surprise, Almost all cases which were pending had a social and economic bias. New markets could be created by rural potentials, which could lead to rise in the employment. Over the years, I had nurtured the hope to be able to fly, to handle a machine as it rose higher and higher in the stratosphere was my dearest dream. The purpose of education is to make good human beings with skill and expertise. Enlightened human beings can be created by teachers. Widespread use of antibiotics promotes the spread of antibiotic resistance. Smart use of antibiotics is the key to controlling its spread. In a democracy, the well-being individuality and happiness of every citizen is important for the overall prosperity peace and happiness of the nation we should remember that there are nations which meet more than 30 to 60 percent of their power requirements through the nuclear power system building capacity dissolves differences it irons out inequalities how accurately can the law fix the crime? There has to be a mechanism for very fast action. The law is like this, catch them and punish them. India has to be transformed into a developed nation, 
a prosperous nation and a healthy nation, with a values system. One lesson that every nation can learn from China is to focus more on creating village-level enterprises, quality health services and educational facilities. Climbing to the top demands strength, whether it is to the top of Mount Everest or to the top of your career. Be more dedicated to making solid achievements than in running after swift but synthetic happiness. Educationists should build the capacities of the spirit of inquiry, creativity, entrepreneurial and moral leadership among students and become their role model. Where do the evils like corruption arise from? It comes from the never-ending greed. The fight for corruption-free ethical society will have to be fought against this greed and replace it with what can I give spirit. When a nation is surrounded by weaponized nations, she has to equip herself. Almost half of the population of the world lives in rural regions and mostly in a state of poverty. Such inequalities in human development have been one of the primary reasons for unrest and, in some parts of the world, even violence. Ultimately, Education in its real sense is the pursuit of truth. It is an endless journey through knowledge and enlightenment. In India we only read about death, sickness, terrorism, crime. Smart habitation is an integrated area of villages and a city working in harmony and where the rural and urban divide has reduced to thin line. India can live without nuclear weapons. That's our dream, and it should be the dream of the US also.